Guess what? Guess where we're going? Where are we going? Kentucky. Kentucky. What are we going to Kentucky for? We're going to Kentucky to see the Ark Encounter and to see the Creation Museum because it's Deaf Day this weekend. We're excited. Are you excited? Yes, yes. I'm excited. So excited. So we'll arrive about 1237-ish. Six hours left. We got a long way to drive. So we'll see you soon. Love you. Love you too. You're cute. Now, now we just got here to a gas station and we stopped to put some air in the tires and Chris just said that there's coins stuck in the slots so it's not working frustrating. What happened? It has two coin slots and both have quarters stuck in them so you can't put money inside the machine. So what do we do now? We still have one hour left to drive. Chris is really tired and needs to sleep. So we're gonna try to find another gas station. We'll see. Look at me, we're good? I think we're good. The light is still on, but sometimes it takes a few seconds for the light to turn off. You think we're good now? The light just turned off. Yay! Ew. Ew, ew. Hi. Hi. Hi, everyone. We just got here to Williamstown, Kentucky. Finally. We're exhausted. We've been on the road for more than seven hours. So we're really exhausted from the driving. Yeah, we had to stop for gas. For gas. Long story. Food. But we're finally here. We left from Lynchburg, Virginia at about 5.30. And we were supposed to arrive here at about 12.40 approximately. But it's crazy how when you stop for gas and food quickly, it adds one hour yeah. to the trip. <sighs> but we're finally here. Now it's about two in the morning. Yeah, almost two. But we are staying in this really cool place. We're it's 190 in square feet. Yes. Who picked this place? Who picked this place? Oh, yes. Nayeli found it online. It's a really beautiful, cool place. It looks like it's new. It's 190 square feet. Tiny cottage. We love it's it. It's really small. We can't wait to We're show excited. it to you in the morning from the outside. You. And it's really small inside too. 
but it's nice. Yes. So good job finding this place. Thanks. So far, we love it. It's definitely our style. Yeah, it really is our style. Yeah. Maybe we can get some ideas from here. We're excited to go to the Ark Encounter tomorrow. And Sunday, maybe we'll go to the Creation Museum. I don't know. That's the plan. Yeah, we'll see. So now we're going to sleep. Guess it's time to go to sleep. So keep watching to see what happens tomorrow. Good night. Yeah, good night. Yes. Are you trying to hurt me? Good morning. So I just finished showering and blow drying my hair and now I need to wake Chris up. He's over there. How's my beard? So, so. I have bed beard. Good morning. How'd you sleep? How'd you sleep? I slept good. Yes, really. That's good. Yes, I really needed that sleep. Hey, hey everyone. everyone! Welcome back to the next episode of Definitely Us. Where are we now? So today we are going to the Ark Encounter. We're excited. Yeah, but where are we now? Oh, so where we're staying is so beautiful. You want us to show you? So right now we're in front of the tiny cottage that we're staying at for this weekend. And it's really beautiful. Thanks. Good job finding this place. I know he likes tiny houses, so. Yeah, she knows that I'm obsessed with tiny houses. So this place is perfect. It's better than staying at a hotel. hotel and just doing the same old thing. Right, we wanted to experience something different, like staying in a train, car, or many things. Now we'll show it to you. Yeah, ready. Do you want to see our bathroom? It's 
kind of a mess, but. You ready? We need to go. There's gonna be a long line. We need to buy tickets. Hi, we're here at the Ark Encounter. This is the Ark from the Bible book of Genesis. This is Noah's Ark. Two elephants. and two lions, two giraffes, Now it's 13 stones. Finished. Now it's 13 stones. You're blushing. Now we're about to go into the ark. We're really excited. This is for food and water. That's cool. So here you see different cages. In the Bible it explains that there were two of each kind of animal on the ark. So that's why you see all these cages. It was for the different animals. And here you notice this is where they fed the animals. So they would put the food in there and they would feed them. And then this is where they would put the water. Kind of reminds me of a hamster cage. Maybe in here they kept food and water for the animals so that when theirs ran out, they could pour them some more. So inside those bags, Supposedly there would have been dried fruit, seeds, different things. 
I bet you didn't know that they had electricity and light on the ark. Many people think that Thomas Edison invented the light bulb. But no, it was actually Noah. It's true. It's in the Bible. If you don't believe me, check for yourself. Very funny. This is one cubit. One cubit is equal to about 20.4 inches. God told Noah to build the ark 300 cubits long, 50 cubits wide, and 30 cubits, cubits tall. I really want to sleep here, but it says I can't touch. It says, did God go back on his promise? Why did Noah bring birds? How did the waters cover mountains? Now we're going over the bridge. Hey everyone, we're here at the Creation Museum. We're excited, we've never gone in before. So we're excited to see what they have inside. Hi, look. 
Wow, it's really beautiful. See? These glasses are so big. My head is small, so these big glasses are awkward on me. So I just met Chris. Yes. It was really nice to meet him for the first time today. Really, we met yes, yesterday, right. but today we really got a chance to get talking, and I really enjoyed it. Yes. So we're here at the Creation Museum, but we really haven't looked around much because we sat down and we talk just started talk. talking. It's really cool. Yesterday, Nayeli and I were sitting down at a restaurant and he walked up to us and he recognized us. So it's really cool today that we saw him again and we decided to sit down and talk and really enjoyed it. Yes, deaf tend to yes. talk a lot, but it's nice because my fiance is hearing too. So we found yes, a lot of similarities right. and challenges we Good have. point, yeah. It's interesting to talk about our background. It's really fun. And when I met you and you recognized us, I thought that maybe you were local, but where are you from? I'm from California and we flew in crazy to visit the Ark. California represent. We really enjoyed getting to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So now we just finished. Yeah, we're leaving. Yeah, we're leaving now. It's three. Really, we need to leave because if we leave now, tomorrow. we'll get there around 12. Yeah, so you ready? 